blamed myself for the rape that night. I felt for a long time that I asked for it and that it was my fault. I just figured everyone else would think that too. So I felt very alone. I found myself scared immediately. And I remember going to see a doctor at about two months. First question that he asked me when I went in was, have you considered an abortion? Before he had even found out whether or not I was married, didn't know if the father was in the picture. He definitely did not know that I was raped. He didn't even know if it was my first kid. I never ever imagined in my wildest dreams that I would ever consider abortion. I was kind of angry, thinking, you know, who does he think he is? The ultrasound technician was just chatting with me. I ended up telling her that, that it was a rape. She was so, like, so determined to convince me that having my baby, because it was conceived in a rape situation, was a disservice to the community. I remember thinking that this was ridiculous and am I going to have a single good memory of my time in the hospital and my time in uh, pregnancy with him. I talked to my parents about it and they told me if I was to keep the baby I could no longer live with them. I felt like I didn't have a choice. I had nowhere else to go. He kept telling me that he didn't want to be part of a baby's life. He didn't want to be a father. I was prepare prepared to do it on my own until his sisters and his mom got on the phone with me and convinced me that if I kept the baby, I was being selfish and I was going to ruin his life. They inserted the seaweed into me and at that time the doctor told me, you probably won't be able to have kids. And I remember asking the doctor if he could tell what sex it was and if he could see the face. And I didn't get any answers from anybody. All I remember is being told that it's tissue and that it was safe and common. When I became pregnant with my son, the doctor explained to me that um, the baby has a harder time um, attaching, which is a side effect of abortion that I was never told. I was also told years later that I had endometriosis, which is a side effect of abortion. And I'm now just finding out that I have another thing which is only cured by a hysterectomy, which is another side effect of abortion. When I was 20 years old, I found out that I was pregnant, but it was a rocky relationship. I was scared, uh, but my main concern was letting my parents and my family know, knowing that their reaction was going to be very negative. They reacted just about as I thought, maybe even a little bit worse. Both of them were adamant that I would have an abortion. I let them know that that wasn't an option for me and I was keeping my baby. I felt very alone in my decision. I went to my grandmother's house, um, but when she found out I was pregnant, my grandmother also kicked me out of her house. It was, it was a very stressful pregnancy, but I knew that this life inside of me, I knew that this life represented hope and I knew that only good could come out from me having my child. As hard as it was, I, I stayed strong until about um, seven months along in my pregnancy. I got a phone call from a family member who also worked in the medical field at the time. She called me, urging me to reconsider, consider the fact that abortion was still an option, which um, I at the time was not aware, but now know that it would have been completely legal for me to abort my child at seven months pregnant because it's legal all the way up until birth. So she told me she knows a place I can go, she has, she can set it all up, she has someone that can do it, it'd be safe, no one has to know, you know, it would be done with. I was actually very appalled. Uh, I, was, I was shocked that she was even suggesting this at seven months pregnant. There was a lot of pressure on me um, and just not a lot of support. I felt, I felt very alone in the whole thing, but I did go through with my pregnancy and I now have a beautiful seven-year-old. I never for a moment ever have regretted ever making the decision to um, bring my daughter into this world. Yeah, I just want people to know that there are options. And the people that I got pregnant with, they really, really pushed the abortion. In my heart, I didn't want to do it. To the man that I was with and had been with for quite a while, just kept pushing abortion. He didn't want kids. He tried every avenue um, he could to convince me to have an abortion. And I just gave up the fight, broke down in tears. and I said, okay, 
He drove me to the abortion clinic and sat in the car when I went and had it done. The doctor left a, the clamp on my cervix. Instead of unclamping it, he kept it clamped and ripped it out and tore my cervix and never stitched it back up. So I um, was left with an incompetent cervix. I can never carry a child again. And that's something that uh, I have to live with. I, just, I left feeling so worthless. Emotionally, I was beaten down and hurt beyond belief. You walk out of there feeling worthless and pathetic carrying that. I dived into harder drugs and made more poor decisions. Never is it explained um, medically what can happen to you. Never is it explained mentally what can happen to you. If I was warned that when I walked into the clinic or if I was just given a complete rundown, a care package of this is your options and these are the pros and cons, I am sure that I would have definitely given it more thought. I know now that I definitely wouldn't have had an abortion.